So once we got that back, I'm going to call into the Gemini 2.5 called Nano Banana Image Model, which delivers stunning images. And again, I'm just generating that request. Now, when you call the image model, you can see here there's not a lot of options. Your options are a little bit different. You don't pass in a system prompt. That's why I have to enrich the user prompt in a step up above because I don't have as much ability to customize the image request prompt. You can see here it doesn't take parameters like temperature and top P. It simply takes the text prompt and then an aspect ratio. Now, just like we saw before, this response that comes back is going to be a complex, convoluted response, uh, contains a whole bunch of extra information that we don't care about. I'm going to use a filter array to dive in and get just the inline data, which is going to contain our image. Then, just for sake of keeping it simple, I throw it into a composed shape because I have to, again, analyze that response in that filter array to get out the exact data of our image that we want. Then come down here to return our response. I have to do base64 to binary on that response data. And I simply add a content type of image slash PNG. And by doing this, when I test this in Postman, it's going to render our image right there in the UI, which is going to be pretty cool. So this is a high level overview of this AI workflow process.